Pedro from EMP Reacts. I'm here today with Thomas of Die Cara Falk to talk about Varek out June 25th on Season of Mist. How's it going? Well, it's going fine. It's the 22nd now, and it has been just premiered on the Season of Mist YouTube channel. So I think it's going fine. You, are, are you excited or a little bit nervous or a little bit of both? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm excited, yeah. And I was I was a bit nervous, of course, and you know how the reception would be, but it seems that people like the like the album so far, so I'm fine. It's good. So let's start a little bit from the beginning here. What inspired you uh, towards the the theme of this album? What, what was your inspiration? Well, it's got it's it's, just, it's an ongoing theme, I I think, because many of my albums are are about like escaping. And just fleeing from 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 the realities of of life, and I, I use like symbolism, symbols of animals many times in the woodlands and nature. So I think it's just it's well within the the title of our realm, the new album. So it stays connected with uh, what what you've done in previous records. You, you didn't go that far off the beaten path. I, I don't think so. I think it's just a natural progression from the previous ones. How is the creative process be behind an album like this? Like, how does the idea start to grow in your mind and then from growing into your mind, how you transport them into reality? You know, I just, I just write, I always just want to write songs. So it's like starting with a riff or something and I just sit down and try to experiment with, with all the elements. And when I, I, I find something clicking, I just record it and then go on and on and on. So after a while, songs just write themselves and I just let them flow. And, and it's, it's easy like that. You make it sound like it's so easy, but w when I listen to the record, it sounds like it's a lot more complex than that. Well, it's a lot of work for sure, because I, I have to you know take time and energy and yeah, it's a lot of time. And it's like that, but for me, it's just, it's totally natural. I cannot do any other way like this. You have to work on it and that's it. You have to invest energy, but that's how it works. Do you like the fact that you don't put any boundaries on yourself whatsoever, as far as your creativity goes, uh, you go where the music is taking you? Yeah. Yeah. It, I, I have never been like very aware of, of where the boundaries are. I, I never cared about that. So I just do what I, I feel correct and fine and and that's all i i don't have any any plans or anything like that just just go go with my feelings was this album challenging for you or, or did it offer you new challenges that you hadn't really faced in the past hmm, I, I wouldn't say so but there are plenty of new things i never tried before like with so many guest musicians with these live instruments i i already i, I always had guest musicians but this time there were I, I, I think 16 people involved in the process so it's a it's a kind of of new experience for me but i did everything how i i have done before so there was that big difference in the process was it harder to bring everybody to the table and, and to transmit uh your ideas to to them or or was and, that a, was that a process that was easy for them to uh, absorb what you had in mind it was it was easy for me i think because you know, I, I, I went song by song, so it just, if, if I, I finished one song, I, I went a step to the next one. And when you just focus on one song, it's not so complicated. And I, I spent like one month with one song or something like that. So it's easy because I, if I have an, an idea in my mind that probably like a trumpet would be fine here, I try to find a trumpetist and then he will record something, he sends it back to me and I play with the, with the layers and then it gives me more new ideas. I try to write the songs more uh, based on, on his recording. And it's, it's, it's always a kind of adventure for me. So it's, it's always exciting for me to get new input and, and new elements in the music that I can play with later. So it's, it's, not, it's not hard for me, it's just, it's just fun. So does, that, does each song become its own individual journey? for you yeah i can say so how, how then you how do you put then all of these individual journeys in the context of a full-length record and, and and try to make it work 
yeah, it, I think it, it usually it's like I start to work on, on, a, on a record and then after one, two, three songs, kind of, there's kind of, of like an atmosphere. And, and then I think about, okay, what will this record be about? Like then try to make connection with the songs and to build up a, a whole whole thing from the songs. So there's a there's a direction after a couple of songs, and then I will write the songs that way. After I, I know what I, I I'm about to to talk about. Once you get an idea for the overall vision. Yes, yeah, yeah. Because I probably I, I should have, but I never have an initial idea about the album. So I never really? I'm never like okay, this album will will be about this topic. It never happens. It just turns up after a while. It's more of an organic process. You kind of discover, it's not like you're creating the album. The album is kind of discovering itself as you're going through yeah. the creative process. Yes, I would say so. Yeah, yeah. It's just not my decision. I mean, it's my decision, but I just let things go first and then see where they are going to. I have to ask you about the structure of the record because for me it, it felt a little bit chaotic. It's not like it's yeah. not one of those albums that you get a clear idea of where your starting point is, of where the middle is, and where the ending is going to be. And you kind of know exactly, okay, if I follow this path, I'm going to get to the finish line. I felt like the album sometimes uh, threw me for a loop. I, I, I felt like I was going forward, and next thing you know, I was moving backwards. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it has a little bit of that built-up chaos in it. Do you, do you see the structure of the album that way? And, and do you play uh, or, or do you give it a big role in terms of how the whole album plays out in the order of the songs? It's not really planned. So I just let, let it flow as naturally as it comes out. And of course, I have, I have to decide which song to start with and which one is the last one. And, and in this case, it was obvious, the last song and the first song. That was totally obvious how that that will be the first one and the opening one and the last one was was no no question and I I I of course I in my mind I have the the right order and the right order is the way that I I put the songs together after each other so I, I have this in my mind but probably I have a bit of weird mind so it it can be it I am absolutely aware of that it can be difficult for others to interpret why why these songs are in this order or why these songs are in the in the same album but you know that's how I, I i do it and all these things were in my life last year so there's plenty of emotions uh, different emotions within songs and but I, I felt like i had to include them because that was my last year so, so do you feel like that you're creating an album where you see yourself represented in the overall structure of the album? And because of that, sometimes, like you said, it's harder for those that are on the outside to kind of see what you're seeing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, it is, it's, it's completely selfish what I do. So, <laughs> it is. I, 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 find it, I find it funny that you say that. And, and the fact that you say the simplicity that you're putting towards the whole create. When I listen to this album, I'm just kind of like amazed by how, how you create a puzzle with a huge amount of pieces. I mean, I would not even know where to start. And you're making it sound like, you know, I'm just drinking my coffee and these things kind of come to me and then that's it. I never think about this. So that's why, because for me, it's natural. I, I, just, I just make music. I, I do what I like. And... I I have my ideas and then that's all. It's I don't think about this because if it, the moment I try to plan and to to think about how I did this and how I should approach this and that, I think I would lose some kind of magic. So I just keep it keep it simple like this, and it seems to work. So I, I don't have the reason to overanalyze it. Is the diversity of the sound on this record and on, on every record that you've put together, is that a, a pure representation of who you are, not just as an artist, but as a person with different influences from different places? Yeah. Coming in? Yes, I think it is. I, I wouldn't say this word artist, but more like a person, because that's that's how I am. Everything is put there in the in the album. So this is why I, I many times I have difficulties with, with interviews, because I don't really have many things to say because everything is there on the album. And it's, I, I cannot add anything else. Of course, 
you don't understand the lyrics because they are in Hungarian. So that's bad luck, but I, <laughs> that, that's, that everything is there. If you are Hungarian, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not, then you probably don't. Yeah, I, 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 I get that. Sorry about that. Well, it, it's my loss. Yeah, okay. But I, I, I can't help because you know what? We, we made our first two albums in English. Our first two al albums were in English back in 1999 and 2001. And then I, 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 I felt very uncomfortable with the, with the English language, not the English language, but anything other than my native language. Mm -hmm. Because I realized that, that I can express myself the best and the more limitless way in my native language. And I think it's totally natural. Yeah. And do you feel like it's more organic as well? Because it, it, it's, you're not forcing something that it's not natural to you. It's just, it, it allows the whole creation of the record, the whole creation of the music to be just completely fluid from, from how you're thinking it to the, how you're executing it. Well, yeah, I think that this is, 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 is that simple. And if, if, I, if I turn it into English, I have to think about the right wording and right phrases and it, would, it wouldn't sound natural at all because because I cannot express myself the way I can express myself on my native tongue. It's obvious. So I, I don't want to do this. I think it's just clowning around. I, I, I do what I, I feel the most sincere and natural and it works. Is, does this album give you a sense of one complete atmosphere in terms of the songs may be pushing you in different directions because of the influences that they have, but, the, but does the album offer a complete atmosphere in terms of more cohesive, more, uh, more robust, if you will? No, I'm, I'm not sure about this. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, what I know is that it gives different feelings to everyone because it, it must. So I, I would like to think that there's a cohesive atmosphere, but probably there is none. I don't know. And you touched on the vocals. I have to kind of go back to that because listening yeah. to this album, like you said, I don't understand the vocals. So I have to interpret them in a different way. I have to interpret yeah. them in the way that they make me feel in the context of the music. And, and, mm -hmm. I, and I felt that on this, on this record, the vocals almost worked as another instrument more than, more than the words that they were saying. It was about the feeling that they were giving to the music, the layers that they were creating within the tracks. Is that a, a good approach to take if, if I'm not able to understand exactly what the lyrics are giving me? Yeah, because you're, you're not able to do that. So all you, all you have is the feeling that you catch from the, from the vocals, and it's totally fine. And if it works for you, that's, that's, that's amazing, I think. You don't have to know the lyrics exactly. You just, because, because this is how it works when you listen to foreign language music. You just, you just cannot know what the, the, the words are exactly, but still you have a feeling from the music and from the vocals, and that's completely fine. This is what we do when we don't understand English language music. So it, it's, it's the perfect approach. Hmm? It's the perfect approach. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one song that I have to ask you about on this record that really yeah. stood out to me was Zuzmara. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the piano, the vocals, the cello. Uh, how did that song come together? It, it's just an outstanding track. Thank you very much. At first, you have to know that this is an old song. And it's from 2005. And it appeared on my solo album. In, in 2005, I, I, I released a solo album. And it's on there. But that's a slightly different version because I was making the vocals. And this time, Martina was singing. So, and it's, the, the, the original is a bit faster and it's, I think it's tuned half a note higher. And I, I just rearranged the song, I, I remade the song. So it's an old one. And yeah, it's, 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 I think it's not the best time of the year to listen to that song because it's about winter and, and the, the title means frost. Mm -hmm. So it's just, a, it's just a pretty sad song, but I yeah, think it, it, it finishes the album perfectly. And this is how, how I, I wanted to finish the album, that, that pacing down and slowing down everything. Yeah, there's a sense of closure. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Things coming yeah. through the finale. It's a, it's a good closing song, yeah. And I think it's, it's very good because of Martina's voice, first, first and most, because 
she's singing very very nicely there. Yeah, her voice is incredible. She 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 brings yeah. darkness to life on on that track. Yeah, she's great. She's she's great. Yeah, I I cannot really add anything else. I have one more question for you, but before I yeah. ask you that question, I, I'm so intrigued by the painting behind you. Is that the Tower of Babel? Uh, well, if you want to interpret it that way, it is yes. Really yes. interesting. It's really interesting. I, I just had to ask you about that. Like, is there is there a special meaning for for that painting to you? Yes. Yeah. Well, it's just I have this. Probably should, <laughs> the thing is that it was meant for uh, for an art, for an for an album, for that kind of folk album. But I didn't choose that art for the for this one, and it might appear on on some of the next albums. As an artwork. Oh, it's so. Good. Thank you. Well, it's is well. You cannot see much from here, but yeah. Okay, probably it will appear later on one of the album covers. <laughs> we saw it here first. Uh, last question that I have for you yeah. is: uh, as you as you have a chance to look back at the record and all the work that you put in into this album, what do you consider to be the biggest strength of this record? The biggest strength. Mm. I think the production is quite good this time, and well, it's it's clean, but it still has some some dirt. I always want to keep some some dirt because I don't like sterile records, and I think metal has to be a bit like dirty. And I think the songs are 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 a bit more rounded this time. Better rounded than before, even though they are like they're they're going places many times, but still they are they are well rounded for me in my mind. And yeah, I just I just like the songs, so I think it's a it, it's an okay album for for the ten for number ten. This is the tenth album, so I think I'm 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 happy with this. You're, yeah. you're selling yourself too short. This is better than okay <laughs> it's, you have to you have to tell me because what's in my mind is is different to to what the listeners have in their minds and it's it's normal yeah well well thomas thank you very much for your time today i really appreciate talking to you uh getting a little bit of an insight into into the record all the best to you and to the release and uh and take care of yourself thank you for your time thank you very much thank you thank you bye-bye bye